Hey there, folks. Today, we're shedding light on Greenville, South Carolina, a city often praised for its charm and growth. But hold on tight, because we're here to uncover the brutally honest truth behind the curtain. I've been a resident here for most of my life and lived through some massive changes in the city and the surrounding area. Greenville, South Carolina is often depicted as a quaint southern town with a picturesque downtown, a bustling main street, and a thriving economy. But let's peel back the layers and delve into some issues that lurk behind the curtain. Greenville has undergone a remarkable transformation in recent years. Its downtown area has seen a revitalization like no other, with trendy shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues popping up left and right. Falls Park on the Reedy with its stunning waterfall and lush greenery serves as a city piece for the center, a testament to Greenville's commitment to preserving its natural beauty. The job market here is booming, particularly in industries like healthcare, manufacturing, and technology. Major companies have set up shop in Greenville, bringing with them opportunities for employment and economic growth. Businesses like BMW, Michelin, and Bosch, and others drive an economic engine that's humming along and is part of the draw to this area of the country. The cost of living, while rising, still remains relatively affordable compared to other cities of this size. Many of the people I work with are coming here because they're seeking a better cost of living. Now, before I get into the harsh parts of Greenville, and in case you're watching for the first time, I'm David Crum, and if you want to know everything there is to know about living in Greenville, make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications, so you can be the first to learn about the current market here. And by the way, if you'd like a free guide or any information, check out the description below. Our contact details are there as well. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the not-so-rosy aspects of Greenville. One of the biggest challenges facing Greenville is its lack of affordable housing. As a city can continues to attract new residents and businesses, housing prices keep going up, pushing many longtime residents out of their neighborhoods. Gentrification is a real and pressing concern as historically marginalized communities find themselves displaced in the name of progress. Now, there are plenty of people who argue in my prior videos, comment sections, both for and against this. I'm not here to do either one, but just to let you know what's happening and how it's pushing some historically more affordable neighborhoods to become much pricier. One example is Nickeltown, an area that has seen a tremendous change. In fact, there is a current listing there for $959,000. And if you look back just five years ago, homes were selling down the street for forty to eighty thousand dollars. Now this home is larger and has been completely renovated, but that kind of price you couldn't even dream of asking it ten years ago. Here, now moving to our next brutal truth, and that is traffic congestion. It's causing a headache for many Greenville residents. While the city's infrastructure has improved in recent years, it struggles to keep up with the rapid pace of growth. Rush hour traffic can be messy, and depending on what area of town you're in can affect you. Some areas of particularly busy roads include I-85 near Pelham Road and large parts of Woodruff Road, especially in the afternoon rush hour times. Fortunately, Greenville's traffic isn't as bad as some places yet. Our worst traffic tends to move slowly and not be the stop and go that you can see in major metropolitan areas, unless there's some type of accident or major issue, of course. Now, in keeping with the traffic issue, let's talk about the roads themselves. Many areas have nicely paved roads, there are lots of roads in Greenville that just aren't up to par. If you're coming to visit, expect to wash the road and veer around some of the worst alligatoring patches or potholes that I am sure you'll be driving past. In my opinion, the condition of the roads outranks traffic as a driving priority, but that's just me. Others may feel different. Now, next up, let's talk about healthcare accessibility in Greenville. While the city is home to several world class medical facilities and healthcare providers, not everyone in Greenville has great access to quality healthcare services. In many rural areas of Greenville County, residents face significant barriers to healthcare, including a shortage of healthcare providers, limited transportation options, and a distance to major facilities. Cities and towns around Greenville have some medical offices, and there are some towns and cities with major facilities such as hospitals with emergency rooms, but other small towns in Greenville County and surrounding counties must travel in order to find help with severe health issues. Now, this is a major reason that according to a recent study, Greenville County ranks below the national average in terms of healthcare access and affordability, with many residents reporting difficulty accessing primary care physicians and specialty services. 
Now, if you're considering a move to the area and medical access needs to be a priority for you, you should be cognizant of where your medical needs can be met and how far you're willing to travel to live near those facilities. Another harsh reality facing Greenville is the ongoing struggle with substance abuse and addiction. Like many communities across the country, Greenville has been hard hit by the opioid epidemic with rates of overdose deaths and substance abuse related crimes on the rise. In recent years, efforts have been made to address this crisis through initiatives such as increased access to treatment programs, expanded Narcan distribution and community outreach efforts. However, the stigma surrounding addiction and limited resources for prevention and treatment continue to pose significant challenges for Greenville residents who are grappling with substance abuse issues. For instance, Greenville County has seen a surge in overdose deaths in recent years, prompting local authorities to implement measures aimed at combating the opioid epidemic, including increased enforcement efforts and partnerships with healthcare providers and community organizations. The police were recently recommended on the news that residents carry Narcan, a drug to treat opioid overdose, just in case, because you could have a chance to save someone's life. Now, the city of Greenville's opioid response team reports that they responded to more than 100 calls in the last year. Now, I don't want to give the wrong impression. I'm not seeing people lying in the streets or anything like that, but this is a brutal truth for much of America and Greenville is no exception. Last but not least, let's talk about growth. Greenville is growing quickly and many of the things I've mentioned can be attributed to that rapid expansion. People are moving here for many reasons, from retirees coming for the climate, the cost of living and the location, to younger folks coming because of the booming economy here and the same reasons as seniors. As more jobs have become work from home, many people are seeing a chance to escape areas they would not normally have chosen to live if not for the job that they have. This influx has taxed the infrastructure of the city of Greenville and the county and is a major focus for leaders of the area. The Greenville metro area is still expected to add another 20% to its population in the next 10 years, and I have to believe this will exacerbate the aspects of Greenville that are not so good unless the leadership can help get ahead of the curve. This means housing prices will continue to rise as new residents vie with current residents for housing. Traffic could continue to get worse along different roads unless there are changes made and road conditions need significant improvement to bring them up to par. I think major medical access will expand as hospital systems see a rise in the population of outlying areas. In conclusion, Greenville, South Carolina is a city of contradictions, a place where progress and prosperity coexist with challenges and a bright outlook can clash with current needs. From the people that I meet moving here and the residents here, I think most folks will wanna see Greenville thrive and I'm hopeful that it will continue to do so. So this is wrapping up some of the brutal truths about Greenville, South Carolina. If you've lived here, please comment below. Let us know how you feel about the direction that Greenville is headed in. That'll help anyone else who's considering a move here. And if you're going to comment that we're full, don't come, please add some other details that'll be helpful for people. Now, remember, if you are considering a move here in the next nine or 90 days, I'd love to hear from you and see how we can help make your move a smooth one. Until then, I'm David Crum, and I'll see you around Greenville, South Carolina.